you guys. Thanks so much for clicking on my channel. We're all smiles over here. I am Will Sanja. It's like asking a question. Will Sanja help you keep a smile for today? And hopefully the answer is yes, you guys. I'm going to try not to keep it long, but y'all already know. If it gets good, I'm going to keep on talking. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to go to negative today is for every Goliath, there is a stone. Listen, I saw that on a billboard and I said, ooh, that's a golden nugget waiting to happen and y'all getting it today. Listen, God has already prepared you and prepared me to defeat the Goliath that you're seeing in your life. Just like he prepared David. God had David in the background doing what? Fighting and defeating lions, tigers, and bears. And what happened? He was able to defeat them in his own might and in his own power, which means what? Certain things in our lives, God will allow us to handle it. He will. But when we handle it, we understand it was God that got us through it, right? But God allowed us to use what? Our might and our power. But when God is saying that a Goliath is coming up against you, he says what? You ain't gonna be able to do this in your might and your power. Why? Because y'all notice, David did not defeat Goliath with the same weapon that he defeated the lion, tigers, and bears with. Y'all do know that, right? David used spears and knives on those lions, tigers, and bears. But with Goliath, he used what? A rock in a slingshot. What was that rock? That rock was God. Why? On Christ the solid rock I stand, on other grounds is seeking sand. That slingshot was his faith, was his confidence, was his countenance in God to allow him to remember that God allowed him to defeat what? The lions, tigers, and bears, and he relied, relied on that and he pulled back in his faith. He ran back. He ran back. He ran back. Right? He ran back with his faith. And he had that rock in the slingshot. And then he did what? Release the rock, which is the word of God. And that is what allowed that Goliath to come down. Because in that case, it was not in David's might or his power. It was only in God's spirit. And not to mention, God used something so small. So small, so that what? People will understand that it was not in David's might. It was not in David's power. It was in God's spirit. And that is what God is going to use in this situation for you. And for me, for every Goliath that we face, he's going to use something so simple, something so small, dealing with his word to bring that Goliath down. Whether that Goliath in your life is sickness, whether it's your marriage in rubbles, whether it's your kids cutting out, whether it's your finances ain't looking right, whatever Goliath you're facing today, God is going to bring it down with his word. You've got to use the rock, the word of God, because God said his word will not return back unto him void. And not only that, God says when you speak his word, he said the angels hearken unto it. Which means the, the angels get into place, start moving things around for you when he when they hear you speaking God's word. And not only that, God says, in this, I am confident that when I ask according to the will of God, he hears me. So when you use God's word, God's word will get the job done. You cannot fight Goliath, that Goliath in your life, in your own might. Like you did the lions, tigers, and bears. Like you did the smaller things, the smaller trials, the smaller tribulations. God allowed you to defeat those tribulations and trials, those smaller ones, the minuscule ones, in your might and power. But God says, this one right here, that Goliath you're facing right now, you've got to use his word. You have got to. That's why God says what? The weapons of our, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but are mighty. Which means what? Our weapons are mighty through God. Which means what? God is our weapon to the pulling down of the stronghold. So you got to use God on this one, boo. The Goliath you, you're looking at right now, the Goliath you're hearing about right now, you've got to use the word of God. It's not going to be in your might. It's not going to be in your power, but it's only going to be by God's spirit. And when you release God's word with your faith, with your countenance, with your confidence in him, remembering that God has did what? Deliver you from smaller things. Then you'll see that Goliath come down. And before you know it, you'll be holding Goliath's head in your hand. And it'll remind you that God says what? You will tread on the head of the what? Of the serpent, of the adder, of the lion, of the young lion. 
on the dragon, trample them under your feet, on the scorpion, right? And he has given you power over all the power of the enemy. And by no means will it harm you. A thousand shall fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand. God said you will see with your eyes the reward of the wicked when you use his word. God has said Goliath is coming down. Just get the rock. Just get the slingshot. The rock and the slingshot. You need something to thrust you into your future to get your blessings not on just on you but on your whole household. And yeah, people going to look at you and see Goliath facing you. And some of them are counting you out to lose. They say, oh, you just, you smell. You, you don't look right. You, 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 you are nobody. You're not equipped like us. But little did they know, David had reference of what God had already done for him. And you have reference what God has already done for you. You know what God has already brought you through that is minuscule that is so small and minute to that Goliath that you're facing. But it's just enough to remind you that God is well able, that God can do anything. The only thing you need to do is get the rock. You don't need your spear. You don't need the knife. You don't. You just need the rock, the word of God, and the slingshot, your countenance, your confidence, your faith and place God's word in your faith, in the countenance, in the way, confidence and rear back, rear back in it. And when you rear back in it, you release God's word, release it and let it go out and do what he said it can do. God said he is not a man that he should lie. Neither is he the son of a man that he should repent if he said it. He will do it, and if he spoke it, he will make good on it. Which means what? When you release it, it's going to knock Goliath down. It's going to kill him. And God not just going to allow Goliath to die. He dead, but he's going to allow you to do what? Sever the head. Which means what? It ain't coming. It ain't that Goliath ain't coming back in your life. You ain't going to ever see that Goliath. Isn't that what God told the children of Israel? Told Moses to tell them? The Egyptians that you see today. Uh -huh. Y'all, are y'all hear me? The Egyptians that you see today, that you have seen today, you will see them no more forever. And that's what God did for David when he killed Goliath with the pebble. Goliath fell. He was dead. And God said, sever the head. Cut the head off. Cut that head off. Yeah, yeah, yes, cut it off. To let them know that this Goliath, this trouble, this problem, that was in your life, you shall see no more. Oh, that's, God is good. Oh, listen, some of y'all about to cut the head off. You ain't gonna see this problem no more in your life. Whatever this Goliath was in your life, God is talking to you. Whoever you are watching, God is talking to you. He's telling you to use his word today. Use him today. He is your rock that you stand upon. Isn't that what God said? He will place you on a rock and lift your head up above your enemies. Did God tell you that? I know he did. Yeah, he did. He said your head will be lifted up above the enemies when he placed you on that rock. Use the pebble today. Use God's word. And watch when you release it with your faith, confidence, and countenance. It's going to bring that Goliath down. And when Goliath fall down and is dead, God says sever the head. Because you ain't going to see it no more. Whatever was going on in your life, you ain't going to see that. No more. That, that Goliath, you ain't going to ever see it no more. Cut the head off. Yeah, uh-huh. You ain't going to see it no more. That problem, that Goliath, is gone. Forever, ever, 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 ever. Just like God told the children of Israel. The Egyptians you see today, you will see them no more forever. God said no more, but then he put forever on the end to let you know. No more. When I say no more, I mean forever. You ain't going to see these Egyptians anymore, which means you are not going to be bound by what was bound in you. You're not going to be tormented anymore by what was tormenting you. You're not going to be put in distress by what was stressing you. You're not. It's over. It's over. It's over now. It's over now. I know that I can make it. This storm is over. That Goliath is over. Severing the head. It kind of remind me 
um, <laughs> my son, I remember there was a snake in our house and my husband has his golf clubs in the closet. And I got that golf club and my son was afraid. I got a towel, threw it over the snake and I beat the snake to death. It was dead. And then after I killed the snake, my son came over and said, mama, I got this. <laughs> I, got, I got this mama, I can do it now, I can do it. And he went to beating that, he went to beating that snake some more. And that's what God is saying. I'ma kill this Goliath in your life, I am. I'm getting rid of this Goliath. Now he dead already, but I want you to cut the head off. You ain't gonna see it no more. Which means what God is gonna give you proof and let you know that when he says dead is gone, you gonna know it because he gonna allow you to sever it. He gonna allow you to see it. Isn't that what God said? He will allow you to see with your own eyes, right? The reward of the wicked. That's in Psalms 91, which means what? God's gonna show you it's dead, but he gonna let you get a close up. And he's going to let you see for real. It's really dead. It ain't coming back. I hope y'all got this. I got to go, y'all. I hope y'all got this. But listen, for every Goliath, there's a stone. And God is about to deliver you. Just use his word. Trust in him. Use your faith, your confidence, and your countenance. God got you. He does. I hope y'all got this. But if you didn't, rewind this thing and watch again. But in the meantime, in between time, if you take just a little bit of what I'm telling you and apply to your life to the best of your ability, you won't ever, 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 ever mess a smile up because your smile is always will be genuine okay i really want to keep talking but i think y'all got it just know that goliath is coming down today in your life whatever that goliath was it's coming down it's coming down but not by your might not by your power but by god's spirit and you will sever the head and the blessings will be upon your life and upon your family y'all be blessed stay blessed be blessed stay blessed because i feel myself about to talk again y'all know what's coming next ciao